Juicy people of the world, welcome to another session of Juice Along with Jason, lockdown special. Really appreciate your company uh, this week and the weekend. And of course, when we first kicked off uh, these specials, when all of the lockdown started, uh, this week is all about the juice. And if you're joining us for the first time, I'm, I'm trying to get your feedback uh, with some of the juices. I've just made this one. So I think it's really nice, but I want to know what you think to see if it's going to make it into the new book. I'm in Spain. I'm writing the new book. It's the Juice and Blend Challenge for those of you that are just joining us for the first time. The app is already out. The Juice and Blend app challenge is already out. You have a blend in the morning, macronutrients, fat, protein, carbohydrates, nicely satiating all your needs, really, so you don't feel hungry. And then throughout the day, micronutrients, I mean, there's macronutrients and micronutrients in both a blend and a juice, but we're talking about the real antioxidants, the real minerals and vitamins going in throughout the day of the juices, and then at night time again, satiating uh, with a nice blend. So we did some test blends over the weekend. They went down a storm uh, for most people. Some people didn't like the uh, cacao nibs. Some people don't like kind of even healthy chocolate milkshakes, but you know, some of those are going to make it in the book anyway. It doesn't mean they're part of the plan. The plan's already set. It just means these are going to be additional bonus recipes. I'm going to try and pack, it, pack them as much as I can um, into this next book. So here are the ingredients for this particular uh, juice. And usually I'm going to add mango into this. It's called the Minty Mango Super Green. You probably gather there's mint in here and there's mango and there's some super greens. I've got some soluble fiber going in with the added uh, pectin, soluble fiber from the apple, but also the pear. So we've got a, a beautiful pear juice just to balance it. Instead of two apples this time, We've got pear. Depends on what juicer that you're using, depending on how you will actually make this. I'm using a cold pressed juicer. It's a bit like, people say, what's the difference? Well, if you think of a cold pressed olive oil, it's just better because it's had less heat applied to it. You know, the very second you start applying heat to anything that's alive, then it starts to destroy it. Look, I've got a lovely little two-year-old at the moment, little JJ. Uh, he's an IVF little fella, is what he is. People say, oh, you can't put a price on children. We can, six rounds of IVF. <laughs> anyway, anyway, the little fella, but he's frozen. He was, he's not frozen now. He was frozen, obviously, as you can imagine. Um, but he wasn't, and that's what I mean. So you start to, that's why our juice delivered business, if you're in the UK or Ireland, sorry, it's not all around the world, uh, we cold press everything and then blast freeze them to lock in those nutrients. Cold press juicer, 65 revs per minute. A fast juicer, anything from 10 to 15,000 revs per minute. The only reason why I bring that up, it's all about applying heat to the fruits and vegetables. Don't panic. If you've got a fast juicer, I often use my fast juicer. Depends on how much time I have. The key when you use your fast juice, however, is to drink the juice as close to making it as possible and to make sure that you lock it in tight in a flask where there's no light, no oxygen going in if you're not going to drink it straight away or put it in the fridge. You still need to do the same with the cold press juicer, but it will stay good. I mean, even the enzymes stay intact for like two, three days, which is fantastic. But again, I know it's not always in the financial reach of people to have a cold press juicer. And at the same time, time is everything, you know, also involved here. Now, I've already just made this. So I know how good this tastes, but again, I need your judgment between one and 10 uh, as we move forward. So if you've got a cold, look, if you're using a fast juicer, you, the harder the fruit or veg, the more juice you're gonna get from it. So plant, so when you've got leaves, okay, so we've got mint here, we've got kale here, we've got spinach here. When you've got leaves, I haven't even gone through the ingredients, I'll just tell you what you're gonna need. All right, you're gonna need a handful of mint, a handful of kale, a handful of spinach. You're gonna need some broccoli, not this much, a couple of florets or some of the stem, I'll get onto that in a minute. One apple, one pear, half a cucumber, a couple of sticks of celery, and about half a medium-sized mango. We're going to use the flesh of that. Mango going in a juice. Quite unusual for me because it's quite a thick juice, but it's going to be balanced out because of the apple and the pear and the cucumber that will just water that down beautifully. So if you've got a fast juicer, the apple goes in first. Machine off. You pack tight all the greens together and you pack it in tight. Then you put the pear on top. Then you turn the machine on. Normally you've got two speeds, speed one, speed two. Leave it on speed one and you just push it through really slowly because you try to extract all that green goodness. If you just put green leaves in a juicer, a fast juicer that's just going at 15,000 revs per minute, it's just going to go all in the pulp container and you're going to think your juicer's not working. That is not the case. You are trying to imitate kind of like a hard fruit or veg. That's why you're trying to pack it in tight. Still kind of do the same with it with a cold press juicer, but you don't really have to. So I've just made this. That's why the juice is a little bit dirty already, but it's fine. Um, I'm going to still add the apple in first. 
I think it's always good to do that. I'm gonna let it build up in the reservoir. Freshly extracted cold pressed apple juice, even that alone is ridiculously good for you. Even that has vitamin A, B vitamins, C vitamins in there. It's got phosphorus, potassium, just apple juice. There are over 4,000 different varieties of apple in the world as well. We're never gonna get bored with this stuff. Um, so that's going in. Then I'm gonna add the leaves. So I've got the mint, uh, the, the fresh mint just lifts everything, just lifts. I always have a kicker. You know that with my recipes over the years, or maybe you don't. Oh, by the way, look, there's a blade at the top. Just be a little bit careful if you've got one of these juicers, they're wide funnel, but they've got a little blade there, so just stay you having to cut it up. Um, I still use my fast one. Like if, you're, if you've got a little kid and they're helping you juice, don't have them put their hand because the blade is near the top. So when JJ juices the little fella, I might get him juicing, I might get him involved in one of the little videos. Um, but when he's involved, he's on a fast juicer. And so, he, so if his hand goes in a little bit, it's gonna go nowhere near the blade, clearly. Uh, we've got pear. Have you noticed that you can go apple bobbing, but you can't go pear bobbing? Mention it a few times, those that are new. You think, what are you talking about, Jace? Well, because pears, I mean, again, they're just, they're denser, which means they sink. They don't have as much oxygen going in. So therefore, they will sink, whereas apples bob on the top. Um, now the only, I mean, oh, let's let that juice out. There it is. I don't normally like telling people that you can't go pear, but because you forget the nutritional value of the juice. Already we're talking about an array. If you can think of a mineral, by the way, it's in this bad boy. You want phosphorus, it's in there. You want calcium, it's in there. You want manganese, it's in there. You want iron, it's in there. You name the mineral, pretty much guaranteed that it's gonna be in here. Loaded with vitamins as well, of course, we've got that coming from the mango, also from the cucumber. And of course, we've also got soluble fiber in there as well, it's, it's actually quite fibrous. I'm gonna put the cucumber next. So we've got half uh, a cucumber. I managed to get hold of some really good quality uh, ingredients this week. Um, and talking about organic produce. Now, I like to juice the stem of the broccoli you can use the florets, I like to use the stem. So we get the stem of the broccoli going in. I'm now gonna feed in that mango flesh. So that mango flesh now just goes in, starts to build up in the reservoir. And then what's nice is with the celery right at the very end, so you open that up and the celery right at the end, you can just push everything down with the celery, just make sure that you're not gonna miss anything as part of this juice especially the mango, and the celery should just take hold in this kind of juicer and just kind of almost juice itself. But it's very fibrous, so most of the time I would put the celery in last. If you watch the videos I've done this week, I haven't always done that because I forgot to do it, uh, but it hasn't actually made that much difference. But because I've already made a juice in here already with celery in, then actually I've made sure that, that it's gonna go in last this time. So we've got the celery, we've got the mango, We've got the mint, we've got the spinach, we've got the kale, we've got all these beautiful flavors combining. Now, if you want to get every last bit of juice out, you can get a little bit of water and put it in. What I don't understand as well is, <laughs> we, I hear this all the time, we need to get a green juice or something like this. And you see, there's a whole series on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much, by the way, my YouTube channel is free. And I mean genuinely free. And what I mean by that is, is that I've turned all the adverts off. I don't earn any revenue from my YouTube channel. It's just somewhere to hang out. I've been doing this for over 20 years. I genuinely love what I do. I love the comments that come onto YouTube. I like the ideas that come onto YouTube. Um, we've got nearly 65,000 subscribers already. There's 6 million views. The documentary's on there as well. I only put the documentary on a couple of uh, years ago. I mean, documentary's been seen now. That's produced me by over 6 million people. But on YouTube alone, I think it's nearly 700,000 uh, already. Um, there's tips on there. There's all kinds of stuff on the YouTube channel. But every now and then you get on Facebook, on Instagram too, or every now and then, you'll do it when you're juicing and people will start saying things like, oh, green juice. Um, <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard that. They say things like I've heard it's dangerous. I've heard people come to our retreat. Not at the moment, clearly, because it's, um, it's closed. <laughs> so people can't fly or anything else during this lockdown period. Uh, but when they're there, the amount of people that get onto social media before they come about their friends and just say, you're going to a juice retreat. Are you sure about that? Is it safe? <laughs> what are they talking about? What are they talking about? I don't understand. I just genuinely don't. Somebody goes to Vegas, nobody says if you contacted your doctor first, you got a juice plan. They say if you contacted your doctor. Also, people are coming on the retreat because they're already in ill health or they're overweight or they need to sort their health out, whatever the case is. 
and then they start having green. Listen, people start to eat Pringles and Oreos and eat nothing but crap. Nobody really mentions anything. You start to drink a green juice, they go, oh my God, is that safe? How is this even happening? In the 20th, it really happens to me every day on one of the social media channels. And often it's somebody in the medical profession as well that says you shouldn't be promoting juicing. I just can't get my head around it. Anyway, right, so you can either lock it in a flask and then you can nip to the, <laughs> well, you can't. Again, at least you can just nip to the gym. You can in about four months time, <laughs> but not at the moment. Uh, but you wanna lock in, a, but look, that's gonna stay stable. Uh, because it was made in a cold press juicer. So, you know, it's one of those things. You can either add to a wine glass. I mean, I think the glass makes the juice, right? So you can have a standard little tumbler, but every now and then, what about a champagne glass? Have you ever done that? Now this is quite fibrous, okay? Because it's made in a cold press juice. So in a juice like this, what you may want to do is sieve it. If you don't like the fiber, you don't like the bits in it, then obviously you can just sieve it if you like a really pure, clean juice if it's a little bit bitty for you. This in, look at that, in a shampoo. Imagine starting your day like that. It's almost like saying cheers to your health. Look, it's never been more important than now. I mean, it's always been important, but people are starting to become aware that actually with this whole virus, COVID-19 thing going around and the more stats that start to come in and you start to realize actually it's always underlying health conditions. You know, people being really affected. I mean, it's terrible what's going on. But even if you're just overweight or obese, for argument's sake, and I know there's addiction factors in that. I'm not, listen, I'm not picking on the person. I'm just, what I'm saying here is, actually, we have a personal responsibility. If we're all this about, let's stay at home to protect the NHS, what about protect ourselves to protect the NHS in the long term? I'm just thinking f future pacing here. But we have a little taste of this. And imagine every morning, oh, tastes nicer than the one I made a minute ago. I think I put more mint in. Just get a generous hand of mint in there. So good for digestion. You've got the mango, that rich mango going in there as well, into a juice. But listen, every single morning, get up, get some water on board, do some exercise if you can, on, on nothing, right? This is, what, this is how we run our retreats as well. And then just have a juice. Have a green juice of some kind, have a blend of some kind, if you're not even gonna do a plan. Many of you are on the plan, by the way. When I say the plan, there's quite a few of them. Um, but you're on day three. You might have had uh, Tetchy Tuesday, Wobbly Wednesday already, because uh, a lot of people started on Monday. Uh, there are some people literally near the end of Super Juice Me. A lot of people are doing this during lockdown. And I think one, because they think, hey, look, I can't go out. Look, I might as well do it now. So I'm meeting friends for drinks or this, that, and the other, which is a great chance. If you haven't thought of that now, just get involved now. Because if not now, then when? Summer's around the corner. Uh, but also, again, this thing of people going, Maybe, maybe, just maybe, I have a, an element of personal responsibility to actually do what I can. I know it's always it's easier said than done. I do appreciate that. The addiction to refined fats on sugar is very real. So I'm not underplaying that. But if you can get past that somehow and you can get to the other side and reset your mind and body, then all of a sudden you realize, actually, don't ask what the NHS can do for you, but what can you do for the NHS by protecting yourself? I genuinely believe that that plays a major part even if you just have one of those bad boys in the morning. Get some nutrition in, even if you can't get the rubbish out. By definition, the two will balance themselves anyway because the, whatever you have the most of, then you crave the most. I say, well, you've been on junk for a few days, and then all of a sudden you crave junk for a few days. You've been on this stuff for a few days, all of a sudden you start to crave this stuff. And this is kind of what happens. Anyway, that is the Minty Mango Super Green. I hope it makes it in the book. Uh, please judge it. Um, and I'll be just, yeah, I'll be, I'll be doing this stuff. Look, I'm here in Spain, I'm writing the book, shooting some recipes, and after I shoot the recipes, then I go back to the book, go backwards and forwards, and, you know, do whatever we can. Hopefully see you in a tree later on this year. And if you can't be bothered to do any of this, you can get it all delivered from the Juice Deliver Company, but obviously only in the uh, UK and Ireland. Anyway, cheers, thanks again for watching, and uh, see you tomorrow, cheers.